we were invited here to stay at the Henry House in downtown Saratoga. And we figured what better way to start out the new year 2023 because later this year we have a new series coming out on this channel that we're pretty excited for. Come on in. So basically the series is we go around and review some of the coolest Airbnbs in the Catskills of New York. Five episode series and it comes out later this year. We're super excited for it, but today we are in Saratoga Springs. We'll show you around in here a little bit later. Right now we're gonna head outside and see what we can find out there. We're gonna check out this bookstore. Let's go inside. We're in a bookstore now. We're in a bookstore. We gotta be quiet. Shh. And they said no drinks, so I'm sorry. It's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Chug, chug, chug. So we're staying out here today. It's a little Airbnb, pretty much like right in the center of Saratoga. Actually, if you know where, like right behind Ben and Jerry's. We're doing a little bit of window shopping today. I guess it's not really window shopping though because I did buy a skirt. <laughs> we scored it. Nine and a half. I got small little feet. These ain't gonna fit me. The wall's color coordinated. Do you think we can get into the vault? I'm gonna go test my luck. <laughs> There's a lot of old books in here. All right, I'm gonna point to a book and tell me how old you think it is. And tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. When are you guessing? 1902. Let's see if we can find a date on this thing. 1908? Wow. Pretty spot. Uh, what did you say, 1902? Yeah. Interesting. Sure That's all I can tell you. Look at this book, guys. 1876. Wrong. 1854. Jeez, bro. <laughs> just, I'm just totally, guys, I'm totally botching these names. History was not my subject. <laughs> Let's just note that it was started in 1594, which is insane. It's over. You know how many hands you got on these books? Because this one looks so cool. Summer Cruise. What are you gonna, what are you gonna guess? 1873. 1864. Oh, I'm pretty good at this whole book guessing thing. It's literally a book about this guy who went on a voyage. I should become a librarian. Mechanic though from 1866. So it's either upstairs or this big door. I'm going to the big door. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting a bedroom, but this is a pretty grand. We've got a chandelier over the bed here. There's a coziness to it, and I like it. All right, so out of that room and into what I believe is the living room. Got yeah, this old cool desk here. At first, I thought it was like a mini piano. It's not a piano. It's not a piano. But look, I thought this was cool, that when you open it, little side supports like slide out when you open it. Super cute. On to this room. This is just so vintage. I, I'm, I love this door. The grand kitchen, loving the floor. Bathroom number one and half laundry room. Washer and dryers in here. And then the coziest little dining room bed. I love. All right, back to the living room. We're gonna check out upstairs and see what's up there. Is this like Harry Potter's closet here? Nope, another toilet. Bathroom yeah. number two? Bathroom number two. Sink right in here. Bathroom under the stairs. And we're going up. These are like the steepest. You can tell that these are old stairs. They're like the steepest things ever. Reminds me of my great grandmother's house. Got a nice view of Saratoga. I mean, it's just a side street. I can see a squirrel. Good old fashioned Saratoga squirrel. I'm also loving the photos that they put in here. They try to make it feel very like fairy tale ish, and there's little touches everywhere. We're upstairs. To our left is bathroom number three. A little bit more roomy, again, though, with the whimsical photos. Also, very cool sink. So out of the bathroom, back in the hallway. Bedroom number two. I've never owned one of these. <laughs> that thing looks huge on your head. 
Maybe I'll get a smaller one. <laughs> Got a map of Saratoga Springs in 1888. Wow. Congress Park over here. Ben and Jerry's probably would be somewhere out here. I don't think they had Ben and Jerry's back in 1888. I want to see if I can find. I want to see if I can find the house. So we're probably there's Henry Street. Henry Street's right there. So that I think I think that's the house actually right there. It actually looks like it. All right, so out of the second bedroom, and I'm going into these double doors over here. I think this is the last room of the house. Wow, this room's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But I'm guessing this is the master suite. Ah, oh, look, pearls in a hang bag. Pretty similar to what the photo is in the, in the bathroom. These might not fit me. Benjamin Franklin. But they're very small. <laughs> But I was uh, walking around the kitchen and I realized that there was another thing that said my name on it. So um, I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> Got some Saratoga chips. Andy and time. Welcome to the Henry House. We are delighted to work alongside Sun Chaser Media and invite you to our 19th century Victorian home. Built in 1868, 56 Henry belongs to the historic district of Saratoga Springs. We are very excited to see the remarkable content you create during your visit and we- Sweet! So it looks like we have some guest certificates to go and explore a little bit tonight. So uh, let's do it. So we made reservations for these guys. We were walking down the sidewalk earlier yesterday morning and I saw these things like we, we gotta eat one of those. So actually we were able to score a reservation at Maurice's. Are you sure that's how they pronounce it? Maurice's? Morris's. We will be dining in an igloo tonight. Like little Eskimos in I'm the excited. igloos. I made it. Hire me. Really? <laughs> you can hire me. I can get through. Yeah, it does not seem fun for the guys. I would totally trip on the table coffee. <laughs> yeah. My name's Jasper, I'll be your waiter today. But you guys have a drink spin. So uh, how do you like this experience of the bubble? We used to do it in the back That's and they were a little bit bigger. <laughs> they struck the bubble <laughs> So the Airbnb gave us these little gift card things that were in the envelope. They're from the Saratoga Downtown Business Association. Basically, there's like a select number of boutiques, restaurants, a bunch of spots that all accept these. I felt really weird just handing the dude a piece of paper and saying, here, take this. We, we have these some, things. Some fancy coupons. So we did make one mistake with these though. Maurice's was like the one place that didn't accept these. I guess we just treated ourselves to a nice dinner anyway. So thank you to the uh, the Henry House for, for giving us these. I'd say they're all pretty positive reviews. A lot of happy people on these walls. Time here comes it. ours. Yeah. If I mess this up, people are gonna make fun of me for centuries to come. Is that true? So here towards the back door, they have this wall here that's kind of like their guest book and you're supposed to sign the wall. My mother told me not to write on walls. Well, but... it literally says, please sign wall. We're on lights, please. <laughs> what, are we, what are we gonna write? Well, folks, my mother didn't tell me to write on walls. I wrote on all of them. Just, but, like, just write over someone else's name. But my handwriting sucks, so I'm not, I'm not gonna write on this. You're doing this. Look at this guy. These guys are the brave ones. They went on the, the seam of the wall. Who was the brave one that like turned around and realized that, but that they could sign in this wall? And who was the first person that put their name on here? Says I did a lot of cooking in this kitchen. Beautiful house and location. Lots of parking tickets with a smiley face. But okay. This guy must have anxiety halfway through because he writes, arriving to your home was such a pleasant, and then, wasn't able to finish it. I left room for her to sign her name. There it is. My tea is a little. <laughs> We're back. Coffee time with time. Don't worry. I didn't get two lattes for myself. One's for Andy, one's for me. But the amount of coffee flavors at this place is never ending. There's like 20 different flavors, so. I made him get one so I can try his. We're outside of uh, Saratoga Coffee Traders in downtown, right, right on right on Main Street. Death Wish Coffee was founded here. I'm not really sure the story behind that, but it says it on the cup, so Death Wish founded here. Yep. We can give it a shot. He got the French toast latte. I got the Galentine's Day because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. There's ho notes of like cherry, almond, something else in here, and uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna try both of these. So Galentine's Day first. Wow, that's hot. I just burned my tongue. I'm not gonna taste anything the rest of the day. Nope. It is good though. A lot of cherry, a lot of almond, but it's hot. You guys know how I do. I do ice, but it's freezing out here. So we'll give it a seven out of 10. But a lot of almond, a lot of cherry, if you guys are into that thing. Uh, let's try French toast. Not that I'll be able to taste it, but... Wow. Yeah, French toast. Smacks <laughs> you right in the face. That'll give us an eight out of 10. They're both really good. I, uh, of course, 
got a sandwich. Actually, this is the first one that's on a bagel. I, I don't know if I meant to do that, but we got it on a bagel. Bacon, egg and cheese. And looks a little burnt, but that's all right. Can't say this is the most amount of flavor that I've ever seen, but I'm sure it's wonderful anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's like, here's that. I'm still chewing. It tastes like your classic home-cooked breakfast sandwich. It's exactly like if I were to go home, fry up an egg, throw some bacon on there, toast the bagel. Tastes like that. It's good, but this is nothing special. I'll give it a seven. Nothing special, but it'll do the job. But yeah, eight out of 10, seven out of 10. Pretty good though, so try it out. All right, <laughs> moving on. Well, if you guys are interested in staying at the Henry House, we will link it down in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Thank you to the Henry House for inviting us to stay at your spot here. We love- So much fun. We love downtown Saratoga. I had a great time. I'm having a great time right now. Eating ice cream. Those of you that are vegan, Oatly, I love you. Chocolate chip. Add peanut butter though, I mean, come on. What a fun little episode. Thanks for joining us in Saratoga. It was so much fun. Next week, we're coming out with another banger, so be sure to come back, like, subscribe, share, do all that jazz, because it helps us out, and uh, we love you guys. Goodbye, vegan. That looks gross. Sorry, <laughs> you guys. Okay, also, I want to give this a taste, because I do love French toast, so we'll give it a shot. Careful. Yeah, French toast in a cup. Pretty good. Might as well rate it. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> Hey vegan, pre-vegan, non-vegan, have no idea what vegan means, ice cream lover. I'm gonna make a little off and out of, but that's besides the point. You got something to say? <laughs> Best vegan ice cream, huh? <laughs>